All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, we got the new sawmill. We went and got it. Today is Monday, Memorial Day. Um, we went and picked it up. Me and my girlfriend went to Indiana. We left Thursday night after work, and then we picked it up Friday morning. We got it back now. We've been cutting with it for a little bit. Um, we've probably cut 20 or so logs, but... Um, there's a little bit of film from when we were driving up to Indiana or Indiana and then there's a little bit while we were in the while we were actually getting trained and when I cut the first log and everything but I didn't get a whole lot this thing is I was there for four or five hours getting trained on the sawmill it's completely different than what it is than what I had and it's amazing and it's crazy and the speed is unbelievable uh, I knew it was fast, but it's really fast, and all the adjustments, and it's crazy. But, um, but yeah, without any further ado, here she is. Um, I went with a Woodmiser LT70 Super Hydraulic, and I got the wide head on it, and then I got the laser for it. Um, the sawmill, it comes with the... Comes with the Yanmar 55 horsepower diesel engine. Um, it comes basically with everything. All the add-ons, everything, it comes standard. So it comes with the debarker, it comes with the high-speed um, roller guides, the drag back fingers. It comes with everything. Um, except I added the wide head. It'll do 34-inch wide cut. And then got the laser sight, which is right there. Yeah, here she is. Um, it is absolutely unbelievable. It has a chain turner, uh, which so far I am in love with that. And then back here, here's the controls. Um, I'll turn it on for you guys in a minute, but this computer is very smart. <laughs> it knows everything and it, it, all the capabilities of what that will do is not even comparable to the LT35. I thought I thought that one was really cool how it has the set works. It's simple set works, but this Woodmiser, this LT70, what this computer it comes with, it's just, it's unbelievable what it'll do. You don't, you have to think, it, the hardest thing for me right now is the controls, which is just these two joysticks here. Um, but the controls are so different, but as far as the thickness of the boards and the widths that you're trying to get, you just program it into the computer and you, that just go. It knows what, it knows where the head needs to be and all this other calculations that I had to do before. You guys seen me sitting there stopping, thinking, and everything. But I don't have to do that anymore. All I got to do is push buttons on the computer and it knows what it's doing. But um, yeah, this thing camera. I know it doesn't gonna do this thing justice. But if I put the LT35 right next to it, it would probably look ginormous. But Everything about this thing is beefy. It's huge. It's just, it's everything I wanted. Um, the reason I went with this is because people thought I was going to get an LT40 wide or LT50 or whatever. Um, I know the way, how this is going to work, where I want to go with this. I just wanted to get the biggest one they had. Um, this is the biggest portable sawmill that they make. Um, after this one, it goes to industrial size sawmill, and I'm not quite ready for that yet. Uh, this will take me a long, long ways with this, what it'll do and what's capabilities. So, but yeah, the reason I went with this is just because that's what's going to fit me. I don't necessarily need this one this big right now, um, but I have it, and it's going to be here, and it's going to do everything I need it to do, and I'm going to be very happy, and I'm not going to have to worry about wanting a bigger one. For a long time because they really don't make a bigger one unless you go to the industrial size sawmills like i said and that's a huge step up but anyways here she is um i'll cut a little bit show you guys kind of how it works and or i don't know we'll make a lot of other videos on this thing this is just kind of show you guys what i got how it's set up and everything but yeah you guys can see it has a drag back finger so I just stand here at the pedestal, the head goes down, make a cut, and I can drag the boards back with me onto this, um, on the off, or whatever you want to call it, the off-feed table, I guess, I don't know. 
what it's called technically but yep here it is thank you guys for watching um there'll be lots more videos to come on this sawmill so far i have absolutely no complaints it is absolutely awesome i love it um it's just everything i wanted and it does way more than what i imagined it would do and i'm sure there's a lot more things that i'll learn as time goes on for sure within i think i have five hours on it i got it when it when i went up there to pick it up it had 0.5 so with the training an hour of actually running the sawmill up there if it actually started i probably cut with it three three hours maybe but i've learned so much on it already that it's just there's so many things going on it's unbelievable but i love it i'm so happy to have it and i'm excited to show you guys what this thing will do in the future videos so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one if you guys like this um give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more videos of this bad boy in action so we'll talk to you later have a good memorial day